All right, today we are going to summarize how we can find least common multiple. All right, so our least common multiple, or abbreviated LCM, is the smallest multiple that two or more numbers share. And remember that multiple is like when we are skip counting. Okay? And common means what they have, like what they share or have in common. Let's look at an example. We want to find the least common multiple of 15 and 24. The easiest way and most straightforward way to find a least common multiple is to simply make a list of our multiples. I'm going to start with the numbers 15 and 24, and I'm going to find multiples of each until I find one that they have in common. Uh, you can use a multiplication table, you can use a calculator to help you with this, or you can kind of just skip count. 15 when I count by 15 is going to be 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, and I'm going to go ahead and stop there for a little bit, and I'm going to try some for 48, just or for 24, to kind of get an idea um, where I'm going there, too. So I'm going to go 24, then my next one's going to be 48, then 72, then 96. All right, at this point, we still don't have a common multiple, so I'm going to go on from there. After 96, we have 120. So I'm going to find my next couple for 15. So 90 plus 15 would be 105. 105 plus 15 would be 120. Now at this point, I can stop because I see that 120 ends up in both of those lists, so that would be their least common multiple. The least common multiple of 15 and 24 would be 120. Let's look at this in context of a word problem. So Miss Whitney has a house cleaning service. She cleans Miss Nelson's house every 10 days and Mr. Basque's house every 12 days. We want to know what's the first day she would need to clean both houses on the same day. Since this is something that she's repeating often or that I'm repeating often because it's every 10 days and every 12 days, I know I am looking for a multiple. I'm going to start with Miss Nelson's house. So with Miss Nelson's house, if it's every 10 days, I'm going to clean on day 10, day 20, day 30, day 40, day 50, day 60, day 70, and I'm going to stop from right there. Then I'm going to do the same thing with Mr. Basque's house, but Basque I'm cleaning every 12 days. So I would start with day 12, day 24, day 36, day 48, day 60. At this point, I can stop because I see that number 60 is in both lists. So it would be 60 days before I would clean both houses on the same day. And I found that just by simply making a list. Now I want you to pause the video and think about um, creating a problem of your own. Um, if you can't think of a problem on your own, uh, you can go ahead and try the numbers 8 and 6 and find the least common multiple of those two numbers. All right, so I'm going to use 8 and 6. So I'm going to start with my 8 and my 6. I'm going to count by 8s. 8, 16, 24. Like I said, you can use that multiplication table. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 5 is 40. 48. I'm going to stop there. Now I'm going to start with my 6. 6 times 1 is 6. Times 2 is 12. Times 3 is 18. Times 4 is 24. At this point, I see that 24 is on both lists, so 24 is their least common multiple.
All right. So what are some things that would be helpful for you to remember as you think about least common multiple? Well, for the most part, when we find least common multiple, probably the thing we use most uh, mo it for most often is finding a least common denominator. So anytime you have found a least common denominator in the past is like when you find a least common multiple. So taking that same idea, if we were doing like one half and say um, three eighths, and we want to find their least common denominator because we were going to add those fractions together, I could make a list of two and of eight of their multiples. So we have two, four, six, eight, and then here, already, I could stop because I see that 8 is in both lists. So their least common denominator or least common multiple would be 8. If we we're going to add those fractions, 3 eighths would stay 3 eighths because that 8 is already our denominator. And we would change 1 half into eighths by multiplying 2 times 4. But then we would also, also multiply the numerator at the top by 4. So we'd have 4 eighths plus 3 eighths, and now when we add, that denominator stays the same, and we'd have 4 plus 3 is 7. So here we would use that common denominator to figure out that our sum would be 7 eighths. That's probably the most common place, like I said, that you use least common multiple, but there are situations where we have items that might be repeated, like it says up here, where you could also use least common multiple.